Art lovers in Wilmington have a secret. If you want to see a lot of great art and meet the artists, set aside the fourth Friday of every month for the Wilmington Art Walk. That's what Rick Sullivan did, and here's his story. Fourth Friday Gallery Nights are an after-hour celebration of art and culture uh, where more than 20 galleries and art spaces in downtown Wilmington open their doors to the public. Gallery Nights afford visitors the opportunity to see a lot of art and to meet the artists with very little effort. We, singular among many of the larger cities in North Carolina, probably have the largest concentration of galleries and art spaces in a very tight area. Just across the street from ACES is a new, unusual, and ambitious gallery space called Expo 216. Expo 216 is a hybrid of a uh, museum and a gallery. The exhibits for the year 2016 at Expo 216 all have to do with ocean plastic, a messy and troubling issue for coastal residents and an opportunity for artists to raise awareness by removing and repurposing ocean garbage. The ocean plastics is the next, I, I think it's gonna be in 10 years, it'll be the global warming in 10 years. I take things I find scuba diving, and I take things that aren't recyclable, plastic, especially plastics that uh, don't get recycled properly, and I put them into my art. I incorporated a six-pack drink ring holder for the shell so that we can show they're really harmful for turtles if they're not cut, they can get stuck. While global awareness and activism were on display at Expo 216, just a few doors down, the McKerney Gallery at WHQR Radio was featuring differences in perspective. Two artists creating two different pieces from one subject. I had an idea in my head that someday I would like to do a show with her where we choose the same scene, the same quotes, the same inspiration. I and love her use of materials and alternative materials from what we would typically think of an academic artist would use. You know, I use canvas, I'm working in acrylic, oils, and she's using scrap wood, <laughs> um, the mess up paint from Lowe's, uh, <laughs> you know, you name it. So. It was really a fun idea and it's been really fun putting it together. Yeah, yeah. Most of the participating galleries on gallery nights are in Wilmington's downtown district, but one major exception is just a mile outside of downtown. The Artworks is a growing colony of more than 50 artists working and showing their wares in a 7,000 square foot building. Now the reason the Artworks was developed was to help North Carolina specifically become an international art destination. And we're doing everything we can to make something sustainable way after we're gone that will help Wilmington as a community provide opportunities for employment without taking jobs from other people. And we've developed an entire art village. So his vision is for this to be like the streets of San Francisco or New Orleans in the 1800s. So there's this little village with streets and each artist did their own exterior, whatever their medium is, that they designed the exterior of their studios. The Artworks is a growing hub of activity of the arts community in Wilmington, but it has very limited hours of availability to the public. Fourth Friday Gallery Nights is always an exception. In Wilmington, I'm Rick Sullivan for North Carolina Weekend. Fourth Friday Gallery Nights happen every fourth Friday of the month in Wilmington from 6 to 9 p.m. For more information, visit the website artscouncilofwilmington.org or call 910-343-0998. You can also stop by the Arts Council of Wilmington office at 221 North Front Street, Suite 101 to pick up a map and brochure.